I knew I was on a mission, on a very specific quest, you know? It was bigger than just wanting to be a musician or do movies. It was about finally showing the world what Scott could do. Uh, I wasn't the best student. At that moment in, in your time in life, you feel like that's all that matters. High school, it's like, oh, this girl doesn't like me. This guy here, and it's all this drama, it's drama, and you go into the real world, and you know it's about just trying to make your mark in the world. And I never got a chance to do that academically. So I had this fire. I had this fire to pursue this musical career. If you only have 24 hours in a day, your success is dependent upon how you use the 24. You gotta hear me, people talk about Oprah Winfrey, you know, Ted Turner, Warren Buffett, listen to me, I don't care how much money you make, you only get 24 hours in a day. And the difference between Oprah and the person that's broke is Oprah uses her 24 hours wisely. That's it, listen to me, that's it, you get 24. I don't care if you broke, you grew up broke, I don't care if you grew up rich, I don't care if you're in college, you're not in college, you only get 24 hours, and I blew up literally. I went from being a high school dropout to selling 6,000 books in less than six months. What happened? My 24 hours. I was like, okay, Eric, you gotta get a grip on your 24 hours because you about to be broke for the rest of your life. And that's all I need you to do for me. I can tell you all about your life if you just write down your 24 hour schedule for me, you let me look at it. I can tell you where you're gonna be in five years. I can tell you where you're gonna be in 10 years. I can tell you where you're gonna be in 20 years if you keep that schedule. Some of you are doing okay, as you say, but want to go to the next level. But none of you are going to reach the next level unless you are committed every day to be better than yesterday. I know none of you are happy with average. Average is not for you. And average will not be you. You might be at a great level, but you must understand there is always another level at the same intensity week in, week out. And expect improved results. The world doesn't work like that. You give more and you get more. You must understand that despite perceived limitations, if you push yourself, you can always raise the bar in your life. You have to always raise the bar. First you set the standard, then you raise the bar. Don't you dare quit. Don't you dare settle. Don't you dare back down. Not today or any other day. When the tough moments come, never forget. You are in that moment, writing your legacy. In that tough moment, you are setting the standard for your character. Do you have the character? You do. Never forget, never quit. The key is hard work. The key is found in my grind, in my hustle. The key is found in believing in myself. The key is believing in myself when no one else does. The key is in my obsession with reaching success. My obsession with reaching my targets. The key is outworking my rival. The key is sacrificing my today for a better tomorrow. The key is in getting out of my comfort zone and pushing myself past perceived limitations. The key is in daily growth. The key is sticking it out when times are tough. The key is being tougher than my life is. The key is using my pain as fuel to drive me to success. The key is in my goals. Goals so big, they scare small minds. The key is in my vision. The vision that keeps getting bigger every time that I conquer my last goal. The key is in taking responsibility for my life, no matter what happens, no matter what test life throws my way. The key is in doing whatever it takes. The key is within me. The key. The key is within me.
I just want to show you something. When I was broke, when I was broke, if you look at my schedule, you'll see that I woke up whenever I felt like waking up. That's what you'll see first. Now, I told you before, if you watch my videos, I studied the top millionaires in the world, and I discovered that they all wake up at 3, 3.30 in the morning. You say, Eric, how did you find that out? Because they were all talking about the 3 o'clock news. I didn't even know news came on that early. I'm going to be real. Right? But watch this, 3.30. I start thinking. I'm like, wow. If they're getting up at 3, 3.30, and everybody else is getting up at 8, at 8.30, the reason why they're successful is not because they're smart, but the reason why... The reason why they're successful is they just got a five-hour jump on the world. So I started first at seven o'clock, and then I played a trick on life. I started getting up at seven o'clock in the morning, and then you know how the, the time changes? Well, I pretend like it was still the same time when it went back. And I started getting up at six, and then a the year after that, when the time went back again, I just pretend like it was the same time, and I started getting up at five. And then the next year, I start getting up at four, and now I get up at three, and I'm gonna be honest with you, I've been getting up for three for six months, and it's getting bad now. Sometimes I'm getting up at 2.15, sometimes 1.45, and I'm starting to see everything in my life change, why? Because I'm putting more time in, and guess what? If you get up at two and put in work, if you finish, you can take a nap. Life will throw you a ton of curveballs. It's scary. But like if you believe, man, you know? If you believe, and if you want it, and if you want to work hard enough for it, it can be so.